I'm a dancer, so it depends on the night. My best night was probably like a grand. I, def I definitely won't ask what type of dancing that is. She's definitely not a dancer at Disney World. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor. What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy, Matt Zipala here, hailing to you from Dallas, Texas. And in this episode, I'm going to react to how 100 people tell us how much money they make. And also, towards the end of this video, I'll share with you three ways. If you're not happy with the amount of money you're making in this year and every year going forward, I'll show you three tips at the end of this video how to not be in a video like this, or at least if you're going to appear in a video like this, how to be happy. I will just say, though, before I watch this video, I just looked up some data. The average American income in the United States, according to Fred Economic Data, is 35000 per year. The average household income in America, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, is $65,000 per year. So based on that, we're going to see here how people react, how they tell us how much money they make. Let's check this out. How much money do you make? Oh, shit. My uh -huh. yearly salary? Yeah, what do you make? Oof. So, here mm -hmm. we go. And even as a child, you're always taught, don't ask anybody. That's If you watched the previous video for those folks who are asking how much money they have saved up, it's always an uncomfortable topic to discuss money, especially what you're making, obviously what you saved. But here's what we found in the last video. Here's what people aren't uncomfortable talking about. They're not uncomfortable talking about how much money they have in debt. So if you want to reverse that in your life, I'm glad now you're watching the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel so we can help you think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire. Let's continue. That's a question. That's a personal question. Personal question. Exactly. Here we go. How much money? We got. Uh, do I have to tell you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. None of your business. <laughs> None of my business? None of your business. Well, I'm, I'm just curious, by the way, as this video starts to unroll, why is it so uncomfortable for you to tell people about how much money you make? How come it's so uncomfortable when somebody asks you how much money you I'm just curious. Put it in the comment section below. Why is it so uncomfortable when somebody asks you how much money you make? I'm just curious what you say. I am very uncomfortable. Well, I'm not really comfortable with telling you anything. That's for me to know and you to find out. For me to know. <laughs> and your business. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh, there How much go. money do I make? Well, well that changed recently. Um, Currently, I'm jobless. Okay. I don't work right now. I'm just a stay at home mom. Stay at home with my. I made $200 last month. So, how much do you make a year? How does a guy save? Forget save. How does a guy live on 200 bucks a month? Food alone. I can't eat. I'm broke. He is uh, more than 200 bucks a month. I'm just curious. How much you guys spend on food? Put it in the comment section below. Definitely think it's under $10,000. How much do you get? About $400. And in food stamps, I get like... Okay. 400 bucks a month. You know how much that North Face vest costs? Listen, I'm not trying to judge you. I don't know if, you know, this is a gift. I don't know. But you know how much that North Face... Vest card, that's at least a $180, $200, $250 North Face. By the way, guys, I'm not judging at all. All I'm just saying, listen, one of the most embarrassing things that have ever happened in my life is when I came home from a military deployment and I had a brand new car sitting in my driveway with a $450 car payment and sitting in my driveway and I'm the one asking for help in the military base because I can't feed my family food for Thanksgiving. And then my master sergeant, Top Johnson, I appreciate you. He sat me down and said, listen, you're asking for food and the Marines delivered food to my house. He asked me to come out and say, hey, said, Paul, come here, come here. What's this brand new car doing out in your, in your driveway? I said, well, Top, I mean, we, we just came back from deployment. All Marines, all Marines get a brand new car when they come back from deployment. Yeah, but you can't get a brand new car from deployment if you have a hard time feeding your family. Get your freaking priorities in order. <laughs> And I thought about, it. well, that makes so much sense. You're absolutely right. And I traded in this car for a used car, so therefore I can free up another two, three hundred dollars extra a month that I was otherwise spending on a brand new car payment coming from war. So uh, priorities, it's very important how you spend your money. Food stamps, I get like three hundred dollars. I mean, it's not that nice. I mean, have you tried to live off of four hundred? <laughs> you can definitely shop for four hundred dollars. Probably only like fifteen thousand a year. Fifteen grand, sixteen thousand dollars. Sixteen thousand a year. I am happy. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. How are you happy making sixteen thousand dollars a year? Let's break down. Let's do the math. Let's say you're making sixteen thousand dollars a year. Sixteen thousand. Let's say you work a forty-hour work week. Sixteen thousand dollars a year. Forty-hour work week for fifty-two weeks is two thousand eighty hours per year. So if you're making sixteen thousand dollars a year, and that's just gross salary without taxes uh, taken out. Divide that by 2080, 2080 hours a year that you work, you're making $7.69 an hour. 
are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? And I don't know why she's carving it up that she's happy because I don't think she is. Her eyes tell me that she's not happy. Her body language is telling me that she's happy. And uh, that's all I can tell for the first five, 10 seconds. Let's see how she explains. Defending herself. No. I am currently unemployed. Do you collect any money? Yes. About 1600 a month. Damn! 1600 bucks a month. Let's check this out. Let's do the math there. 1600 bucks a month times 12 is $19,200 per year. Divide that by 28, the same math we just used. Let's say you had a regular job working 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. That's the equivalent of the government paying somebody in unemployment, 19,000 uh, 19, a year, $9.23 to stay home. I say this with context. You may not know about me, this is probably the first time you're watching a video like this. I come from nothing. I don't have a rich family. Don't let this suit in this office fool you. So anyway, just want to give you guys some context. And I want to challenge people's thinking when it comes to savings and in this video, how much money they're making. Because if you want to improve your life and live the life of your dreams, you have to increase your income. Let's check this out. 30, 30, 30, 30,000. 30, $33,000 a year. Combination of unemployment and child support. But that's just right now. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about your best guess? Um, you do your taxes? No. <laughs> You don't do your taxes. And guess what happens when you don't do your taxes? Have you ever watched the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness? It was played by Will Smith. And he thought he was just gonna get with taxes. He just thought he was gonna get with not by paying taxes, not paying taxes, not paying taxes. Next thing you know, he has a sale of his career. He thinks he's gonna get a commission check. And what did they do with his checking account? <clears throat> they locked it down, man. They, what do they call that? They, uh, um, what do you call it? They levied, they levied his checking account. So listen, you make money. Guess what happens? When you fill out the W-4, the, the, the W-9, right? The, you fill out these forms that say, I'm making a certain amount of income, whether you're an independent contractor or whether you're working for somebody else. That form indicates to the IRS with your social security number that you've made X amount of dollars. 35. 35. 35. I make sandwiches and I talk to people and I always work. So far throughout this video, two and a half minutes through this video, I stated earlier through the Fed economic data that the average income in America is $36,000 a year. So far, folks in this video have not made the average income as of yet. $36,000 a year. Okay, we're getting up there. $36,000. I'm an entrepreneur. $39,000. 40, $40. 40K. Here we go. Now we're getting to 40K. No, not wish, but I will Good make for more. You. Good Everybody for you. Good for you. Gotta have a plan. <laughs> and we deserve more. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We, we deserve more, but what do we learn about what life gives you? Life doesn't give you what you deserve. Life only will give you what you are willing to work for and fight for. So yeah, everybody deserves to make more money, but not a lot of people do. Why? Because you are unwilling to fight and work towards it. 45? 41,600. Between Coming 30 up. and 50. I'm a dancer, so it depends on the night. I want to ask what kind is. of dancing. I think my best night was probably like a grand. 45K. I don't give a fuck. To be very brutally honest, there's care. some extenuating circumstances that make me not comfortable answering that question. Because I feel like some, like my coworkers might watch this and... Um... No, I would be fired if I discussed it. That's personal. Why would you be fired? Then you need to find a different boss. You need to discuss money. You know, the, the reason why people don't advance financially is because they don't discuss their finances. This is a financial conversation around rich people. You know why rich people become rich and stay rich and get richer is because they're constantly having conversations about money. You know, and the amount that I make also reflects on my kids. I make 45,600 a year. 48,000 a year, not Stand including up. money from the daddies. <laughs> money from the what? A majority of it goes to bills, gas, car payments, car insurance, health insurance, healthy food, weed, and drinking. <laughs> uh, rent, yeah. Rent, rent. How much is your rent? All the rent? $825 a month. <sighs> I have about 40000 in student, student debt. debt yep. 60000 I'm a server. 61000 I teach middle school. I work in the film industry. I'm a paralegal. Paralegal. Seventy-five thousand. I'd like okay. to make around like seventy-five k. Quarter okay. of a million dollars a year would be sufficient. Ooh, ooh, ooh! By the way, that's a good point. There has anybody here, if you're watching this video, have you calculated? Have you calculated the type of life you want to live? The type of rent that you need to pay, the mortgage that you need to pay, the budget you need to have for food, the car that you want to drive, the education you want to have for your children, whatever that dream is. 
Have you calculated that budget versus the budget that you have now? Okay, so once you get that formula of what or that that number, what you want, now you need a formula to get you to increase your income. So therefore, you can pay for these type of expenses. And I think that's what this gentleman did before. And a quarter million dollars a year would be sufficient. Uh, always. <laughs> Who doesn't want to make more money? Who doesn't want There's to make no money? amount of money that can make somebody happy. Of course, there is. I can tell you this: um, the amount of money that gets you above survivability mode that will make you very happy because now you don't have stress. You got pressure, but you don't have stress. Listen, when they say uh, money can't buy happiness, they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. Money has brought us a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of peace of mind. So there is a certain amount of money that will bring you that. Being broke and saying, oh man, you know, you know, Jesus and God wants you broke and Jesus and God, you know, seek you first the kingdom of God, da, 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 all this stuff from all the Christianese community. I get it. Yes, you should. But at the same time, too, while you're here on earth, you shouldn't be broke. We don't serve a broke God. So why are we here on earth living on broke, thinking that we're justified and more holy, holier than thou? You're wrong. Listen, Deuteronomy 8.18, God is giving you the power to create wealth. Remember the Lord your God because he's given you the power to create wealth. So how come you're not using that power? The question you got to ask yourself, hopefully, in this video. Unless I can buy things I like and I don't starve, I'll be good. I make 80000 a year. I was in track to make high 80 maybe, but I got laid off, so now I make enough to live on unemployment. Okay, so she's making 80000 a year, and if unemployment was 19000 20000 a year, that's a $60,000 drop. That's a change of lifestyle. That's a complete change in neighborhood. It's a complete change in what you eat and where you go and the things that you have fun and where you have fun. Um, it's, a, it's a massive drop. That's why we always advocate. You have to make sure that you have a plan B if if... if if somebody takes away your only source of income, you have to have a plan B. But not enough to qualify for assistance because I make too much money on unemployment. Yep, so correct. So that kind of sucks. Close to 100000 What do you do for I'm a plumbing engineer. I'm living off of savings. How much do you have in savings? None of your business. Really? That's personal. Exactly. <laughs> hundred. Okay, okay, so so people are embarrassed what they have in savings. So uh, great interview question. I'm unemployed but I'm living off of savings. Here's what I realized when I was broke. You know how much I saved? Zero. When I was living paycheck to paycheck, you know how much I was thinking about putting away? I was thinking about putting away a lot, but at the end of paying off my bills, had nothing left. In 2000, so I had nothing I'm in, savings. in software sales. I've made $104,000. Interesting. I am electrician. an electrician. Good for you. About $160,000. Very smart people can never be that smart to make a, I don't think electrician. I need to make more money. I think money is an illusion. Well, well, if, if, if money is an illusion, then give away your $160,000 a year. Money's not an illusion. Money is a practical thing. It's just as important as oxygen. Somewhere between three hundred and four hundred dollars and k a year. A VP of sales at a software VP company. VP of sales. You notice a trend here? Do you notice a trend? One guy is making six figures in sales. This guy's VP of sales making 400000 a year. VP of sales. Always. Of course. That's nobody's real business. I just, you asked me, do I, do I have an income? Yeah, I do. Stuttering. Do I make some money? Yeah, I can. What is it? I do a little of this, I do a little, do a little of that. How much do you make a year? Why don't you want to talk? She don't want to answer. For me to know. Business. As I wrap this up, a couple of thoughts come to my head. If you want to have a life where you have freedom and flexibility, if you're the type of person who says, I want to make enough money, so therefore I'm not worried about money, you can't have a $20,000 a year unemployment check. You can't have a $30,000 a year uh, type of income. You have to find a way for you to start increasing your income. Have a say-so in how much money you make or put yourself in a situation where somebody says, like, I'm gonna hire you, but you have a say-so in how much money you make. So if you wanna make more money for the rest of your life, here's three things. Number one, you gotta learn sales. The only way for you to rise above, even if you had a job and you're interviewing for a position, the reason why a hiring manager will most likely higher one over the other. There's something that says, man, this gut feeling, that person sold themselves to me, or why they should get the job, I'm gonna hire them. You have to sell yourself. Number two, consider entrepreneurship. If you notice the people here in this video that had a little bit more confidence is those that were entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs are those that are willing to take risk. Entrepreneurs understand that on a daily basis. The last time I took a check from somebody else to make a living to pay my bills was in 2003. Is there a lot of stress? Sure, there's a lot of stress. But once you start figuring out the formula, there's less stress involved. And what, gets, what replaces stress is pressure. And that's what you want, because pressure is fun. Pressure is what make diamonds. Listen, stress is not what creates diamonds. Pressure does. The third thing you need to consider is 
working in the right industry. I see a lot of people out there, they're, what do I do, what do I do? I'm graduating college, I'm unemployed. Consider working in a wealthy industry. I chose to be in the insurance industry. I chose to be in the financial services industry. Why? Because I figured there's a lot of money always to be made in money. If somebody's willing to teach me and guide me and coach me, kick open a door for me to become successful, well, amen to that. And once you put those three things together, my friends, that becomes your holy grail. It's just not happened to myself. It's happened to a lot of our guys from coast to coast. It's happened to people in other industries. It's happened to a lot of people that have implemented this formula. And if we can figure this stuff out and we're nobody special, for those of you watching this, you can do it too as well. So therefore, I'm encouraging you, if you don't have these things going on in your life, find ways to have these categories filled with your process involving, so therefore you start gaining more confidence about finances. Remember, if you start having control of this area of life, if this area of life, which is finances, you're gonna have a lot more confidence in your life. And if you haven't watched the previous video to this, please check it out right here, my reaction to how much people have saved up. So if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click like, hit subscribe, and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, I'm Money Smart Guy from Dallas, Texas. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to live smart, and be money smart today. Thank <laughs> you.